hello. We are going to do constant uniform acceleration problem. Where in Ohio, a stupid deer could pull out in front of you. Well, not pull out in front of you, because that would suggest you're in a car, or it's in a car, and that's silly. But, a deer can run out in front of you, and let's say that it, you're in your car going 80 kilometers per hour, and you have a deer that is 300 feet away. If you stopped with constant uniform acceleration, which you probably wouldn't do in real life, but if you stopped at a constant rate all the way through, um, how long would it take you to bring your car to stop? And uh, and then it's hard to tell if you would actually hit it because it would depend on your reaction time and, and the surface of the road and so on. But anyway, this is the formula we're going to use. And uh, what I would suggest highly that you do is list all the variables here. So this is going to be our delta x, our vi, vf, and delta t. Okay, now I'm just going to take and dissect this problem, filling in the stuff here. It says, how long would it take you to stop? That's time. We don't know that. Uh, the delta x would be 300 feet. And we will have to convert these. vi would be the initial speed, which is 80 kilometers per hour and the final speed would be at rest at zero and I'm going to put zero meters per second because remember these things need to be in meters this needs to be meters per second this needs to be meters per second and that needs to be seconds so we're going to do some conversions here so first the 300 feet and again if you've uh, forgot your brain and need to know how to convert this it should be over one feet meters one meter is 3.28 feet you would divide there 91.5 meters okay so that's going to be our new displacement here 91.5 meters all right 80 kilometers per hour also needs converted and that would just be a velocity conversion. So we would go kilometers to meters. One kilometer is 1,000 meters. That would cancel. And if I did it right now, I'd have meters per hour, which I don't want. So I have hours here, seconds, one hour, 3,600 seconds. That would cancel. And you would multiply and divide by 3,600 and get 22.2. And that would be meters per second. So up here, we'll write 22.2 meters per second. 22.5, why did I do that? Let's just fix that. 0.2, that would be a problem. There we go. And the time, we don't know. So if when we plug it in, I always like to tell people and practice what I preach here to, I don't know why I keep making delta a a, an A, delta X equals one-half VI plus VF, which is the average velocity, times delta T. So let's plug it all in now. So this would be 91.5 equals one-half. VI is now 22.2 meters per second plus zero meters per second. Delta T which we don't know, so I'm just going to put T. Simplifying a little bit before we start hitting buttons, this would be one half of 22.2 T. 91.5 equals a half of, tw these are all divisible by two, right? So that's 11.1 one T. And I just divide by this number. And you would get T equals 8.2-ish. Is it 2.6? Just 2.4? Okay, so around 8.2 seconds. 8.2 seconds. Not very long to come to a stop and react and hit the pedal and uh, not wreck your car. So there you go. Constant uniform acceleration. Have a good one.